Let me just ask you um, about the economy. We have heard recently from Jamie Dimon in his annual letter uh, at J.P. Morgan. He says a recession is much more likely now. Janet Yellen was just speaking, I think, in the last 24 hours, although it's hard to track from here when things are happening, has just said in the last 24 hours, I think, that the U.S. is in better shape now than it was six months ago. Which of those camps would you put yourself in? Well, I, I, I know what a lot of different businesses are doing, and I just got a report from one of them that happens to be in the retail-related business. And in any event, you know, it was minus 22% in February from a year ago. In they sales? didn't think that was going to happen. Sales? You mean in sales. profit? Yeah. In sales. Profits are down a lot more than that. On the other hand, some of our businesses are still doing fine, but they all are reporting that the new, you know, some of them are living off of orders were placed months earlier and that sort of thing. But, but uh, it's a tougher world out there in a great many businesses, not in the insurance business. Uh, insurance business should be better this year than last year. That doesn't mean it will be because we, we can't predict everything that happens. But on a probability basis, it should be better than last year. And the railroad business is down uh, and carloads carried. Uh, but it isn't dramatic. And, of course, we've got a utility business, and that doesn't really vary much with things. So, it, But overall, I think people that run our businesses that do have any sensitivity to the economy are surprised at where they are now compared to where they thought they were going to be six months ago. That doesn't mean the world is coming to an end or anything, because uh, uh, 58 years I've been running Berkshire, I mean, we run into all kinds of problems, but but that's that's what business is about. And, and, and we run our business so that we don't depend on everything being big hunky dory always. We run it so that we will be the last man standing. And and, and that's the way if, if millions of people are going to give me their money and tell me to take care of it, we're going to try and take care of it. And, and if we don't make as much money as we might have, if we'd leveraged more or done other policies, so be it. But you think a recession is more likely now than maybe you would have said six months ago? Well, I think most of our managers would say, would say that they are surprised at where they are now compared to how they thought they were going to feel six months ago at this point and in a lot of businesses, but yeah. not in the insurance business, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, uh, but I think the people at the railroad are, are somewhat surprised that car loadings aren't a little higher rather than a little lower, you know, somewhat lower, but most of the stuff we carry is, is essential, but, but it reflects what's happening. And, and of course, Supply lines were so disrupted and everything a year or two ago that, uh, uh, you know, no economic figures are pure, but I will, I'm just telling you my impression. And I look at the numbers every day. I mean, I can, I look at our Easter sales day by day at the candy store. And I, you know, I can look at California versus Washington versus Oregon and I can, I get them the next day. I mean, so I, I, I love figures, you know, I'm, you know, you say that it doesn't really do me that good to be such a figure not, but I just like it when I see them. <laughs> In terms of the potential for a credit crunch, coming through what the banks are going through right now, there's been a lot of speculation about what that could mean to the economy. Is it going to mean a 0.5% hit to GDP? Is it going to mean a 1% hit to GDP? What would you guess? I would say that I've been... And business running Berkshire for 58 years, and I've never found economic forecasts of any use to the company. And, and all we have to do is keep running every business as well as we can, and we got to keep plenty of cash on hand so that people can keep making intelligence decisions rather than those forced upon them. And that's all we know how to do. And if I depended in my life on economic forecasts, you know, I don't think we could make any money. I don't know how to do it. And And, you know, People want to get them, so they get them. But but uh, it doesn't. It has no utility. When I find, when I find one of our companies has hired somebody to tell them what's going to happen in the economy, I mean, they're throwing the money away, as far as I'm concerned.